Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live coverage of the Super League coming right up. It is St Gallen facing Young Boys. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. And as the caption shows, the visitors come into today's game leading the league in goals four, the best attack in the league statistically. Well, Derek, the away fans are quite happy to follow the team because they know they're going to see goals. Top scorers, top creators, top entertainment. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, he's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the sport for the strikers. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. And he keeps going. They've regained possession. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Dangerous looking attack. How can he take them on and beat them? This looks promising. An attack full of promise. The cut back and still trying to get the shot off. Now, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Hefty, Ebisha, nicely cut out. Jordi Quintilla. Well read to ease the pressure. Elia. Sandro Lauper. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Jean Pierre and Sam. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. A chance to whip it in. Can they get in behind them? Well, clattered away. Galamur. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Jordan Lefort. Lauper. Looks promising this. 
Mastery of the passing game. Chance to cross. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Jordan Lefort. Sandro Lauper. It might be on for them. And Lefort with it. Options in the centre. Galamu. And Lefort with it. Sandro Lauper. They do pass the ball with authority. Well, he successfully got past him. Jordan Lefort. Galamu. Sandro Lauper. And that will do it for now. They cannot be separated at the break. Lee, your impressions of the visitors so far? Well, Derek, who would have thought with the league's top scorers it would be nil-nil at half-time? Not me, that's for sure. I think it's going to be a goal fest in the second half, though. Let's hope so, Del Boy. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Galamu. Ebisha. Jean-Pierre Nsam. On the ball, Lustenberger. Ebisha Lauper Hefty Still level here but the pressure escalating Options in the middle Jordan Lefort Sandro Lauper Galamu and Lefort with it just knocking it around looking to carve out a chance Christian Fasnacht Ebisha a really effective shielding under pressure how about the cross Hefty, crossing into the middle, no nonsense clearance, Quintilla, now can they counter clinically, and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move, the visitors have had total control of possession, can he put them in front, yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards, Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate, and he's punished. That's quite remarkable.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Quintilla. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Ebisha and Sam now and it's gone out of play goal kick coming up And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. On the attack in the closing phase. Lovely ball over the top. Goodness me, what an opportunity for the leveller, Lee. Late, late, late in the game. They won't get a better chance than that. Ebisha. Elia. Are getting the ball forward. And unable to keep possession. And we will have additional minutes at the end here. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. And a good-looking ball. Great work defensively, but still the chance. Excellent block. Strong but fair tackle. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned, Lee. Well, the body language is there for all to see. Fine lines between success and failure in this game we all love. Not today for them, but I'm sure they'll bounce back next time out. 